As the market tightens up, one thing that you're gonna notice is that most likely you're gonna have less visitors at your open house. Now, what does that mean? It doesn't mean to stop holding open houses. It means for you to put more time and more effort in developing your craft so that way you can increase your ability to convert even though you're potentially speaking to less. I'm gonna share with you three ways for you to be able to do this very thing. Number one, first thing would be for you to be able to ask questions to your prospects, but ask with the intent of truly listening. Most people don't listen with the intent of understanding, but rather they listen with the intent of replying, and that's problematic. Point number two, you need to be informed. Make sure that you're staying up to date with what's going on in the market. And that's going to be very important because clients are going to rely on you more today than ever before. So that way you could be more of a guide and be a true authority when giving them advice. And point number three, enhance your ability to be able to communicate clearly. If you're somebody who speaks and you speak with a lot of ums and ahs and filler words, do your best to fix it. One way would be for you to record yourself when you're talking to people on the phone or even when you're talking to people in person and then take a step back, assess and fix. These are three tips for you to be much more efficient in your process when holding open houses. If you're looking to build your business and establish your brand even further, make sure to reach out to us today.